Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to share a reflection that I had this week. It's the understanding that you are the most interesting person that you have never met. But what does that mean? It's a reminder that there are blind spots for every person. And hidden within those blind spots are gifts and hindrances or blockages, as some would say. I mean, that's just the truth. There's, there's no escaping this fact. So, in knowing this, one can turn to themselves and learn new aspects at any given moment. Now, all the aspects will not be pretty, but that's okay. The beauty in this exercise is that you are the only observer. There is no other audience. This alone removes a layer of shame that can come from the outside world when the unpretty aspects of the self is revealed. So when we take time to acknowledge who we think we are and how this version contributes or takes away from our peace of mind, then we gain insight. Is there something that you want to learn about? skill set or behavior well, why haven't you learned it yet what are the perceived obstacles notice the emphasis on perceived how would you feel if you learned all that you could about that skill of behavior just think about that not everything there is to know but how would you feel being able to reflect on the things that you learned to get to that ideal version of learning that skill of behavior? Now, will you take a few seconds or even a few minutes to ruminate on that? A simple idea. You realize that you can be brutally honest with yourself because there's only one person in the audience and that's you. So would it be so bad to entertain the idea of pursuing what you want? Are there perceived fears? Then once you pop up with the fears, why do you perceive that the fear is real? What if you threw the fear away? Better yet, what if the fear was actually a sign that you should pursue the thing? It's counterintuitive, right? I mean, we're taught in the, in the survival uh, the survival mentality that we should escape fear, run away from fear. I learned early that when I was scared of something, I would usually run to it. When I was ignorant of something, I would usually research it. And that can be hands-on, a book, conversations, it ain't matter. I had to know. Because when I begin to know or understand it, I wasn't scared of it no more. Now, that played out in many different ways. That played out in many relationships as well. Had to understand the nature of the relationships. And then once I understood the nature of them, I wasn't scared of losing them if it came to that. Something to think about. Now, there's a there's a quote that I really like. It says that everything you want is on the other side of fear. And this quote, I mean, it rings true on a practical level. So let's take a second and think for a moment. By learning the thing that you want to pursue, you change your perspective. Each new piece of evidence reveals a new ability that you have gained, whether you realize it or not, because the you of now may still be holding on to the you of the past in certain regards. Now, one step automatically makes you a different person. It makes you different from your old self. And I believe that's the key is understanding that each piece of new evidence automatically changes you it doesn't have to be a monumental change it's a change so for each step taken you are inherently 
removing the fear that was attached to the old you. This is the journey of life. The idea is not to stop exploring who you are, who you were, who you want to be. I mean, at its essence, nothing in reality is constant. This includes the idea of self. So the more that we hold on to one version of self, the more we miss out on meeting the most interesting person we could ever meet. Ourselves. I hope this helps. It has helped me. And if it helps one, just one person, it was worth it. Until next time, be blessed.